It's great to see so many people out here, and um, I'm really glad to see a lot of men. I think it's very important, that's something that we're stressing with the Women's Rights Task Force, is that this is not, women's issues are not just for women at all. And so we need to spread it out and, uh, okay, so I'm going to share, um, a spoken word piece with you, it's called Hey Now. So. so what's it like to have a womb, still a girl at 35, and we so often go unmentioned in his story of mankind. It said we have a syndrome stemming from our wretched blood, unclean, nasty, full of shame, a what a slut. And he's a what, a stud. It said that we go crazy and cry and and moan just like a woman, a witch not long ago, burnt alive at the stake, what a price to pay, today raped by the thousands, as the world looks away, beaten by the second, and killed by the day, and killed by the day, and killed by the day. And many say we're silly when we stand up for our rights, and someday we'll understand, we need to take it light, hey now, wait a minute, young girls and women, I wish more for you. To love yourself strong and true, a human kind with a heart and a soul and a land that is free, a unified whole. And girls, when you become when you become women, it's a blessing, not a curse. A blessing, not a curse. A blessing, not a curse. Humankind, not white kind or mankind. Humankind. And who drew the lines and blocked the colors in and told us we are separated by the colors of our skin, culture, language, wealth, religion, physicality, gender, location, generation, and sexuality. And the lines were designed to pit us against one another. Tools of the machine to divide and conquer. Tools of the machine to divide and conquer. The power of creation is stronger than power of destru destruction and strength of creation is deeper than destruction and peace is the only way to peace it runs so deep within our family free ourselves peace deeper than war stop the killings it's insane it's not the way to freedom heal the world peace deeper than better than kinder than cleaner than stronger than wiser than war and I'm guessing that the universe is on our side just trying to find the human kindness just trying to find the human kindness and it isn't paranoia it isn't overly sensitive to mention in a crowded room if something feels offensive could be a dragon in the closet danger on the rise a silence to be broken a truth to be realized it isn't rude to point out something that fuels the fire that wants to be put out because it's a live wire requiring routine maintenance to maintain the excuse that it's happenstance that women live and die with abuse and are not respected and don't get elected and are resented though we're not represented and what is this anti-woman crap I don't go for that I'm over that and what is entertaining about hearing us scream and watching us be beat and raped and killed on the big screen and maybe we are strong and what if we are wise and our rage is for a reason and we're sickened by the lies fed up with brutality, dishonor, hate and disguise somehow our spirits yet survive and hope remains alive. Somehow our spirits yet survive and hope remains alive. The truth could strike at any point and we'd all realize we've been deceived to perceive the world through patriarchal eyes. And we'll laugh and mourn and turn the page, not to a new order, but to a new age where we dance and we're free and decide not to war with ourselves, each other, the stars and the earth and celebrate life in every birth and every hateful act is met with scorn. Surely we are shifting every moment we're reborn. Surely we are shifting every moment we're reborn. And the oceans too flow with the moon. The cycle is strong, waves crash and crash and scream and scream, waves crash and scream that you too belong, that you too belong, that you do belong. Thank you. Um, so, May 19th, uh, there is
is a film called The Purity Myth. It's a pretty recent film. It's a documentary by Jessica Valenti. Everyone should see it. Um, and uh, we're, it's going to be shown by the Peace Education Center's Women's Rights Task Force, um, which everyone is welcome to join, uh, at the Unitarian Church that is across from the East Lansing Public Library on May 19th, which is during the East Lansing Art Festival. It's from 2 to 4. It's movie and conversation, and it um, explores the realm of of political, social oppression and the purity myth. It's it's a good one. So, um, and I guess um, one thing would be, I feel we don't. A lot of us face a lot of heartache um, surrounding the wars against women and all of the different wars. And um, it's important to take a moment sometimes um, to mourn and to acknowledge the loss and the pain <clears throat> and the suffering so I thought if we could do that for a minute and put out our hearts towards love and change Peace. <laughs>